Hello everyone. Welcome to Glue Book January. It is another scavenger hunt for 2023. I did this last year and it was very popular so I thought let me make another list and do this again. If you would like to see the videos from last year the link for the playlist is in the description box below. The playlist has all the videos associated with last year's scavenger hunt. So basically what is a scavenger hunt? A scavenger hunt is a list of things um, and this is a collage scavenger hunt so you get your list of things and you find what's on the list and you make collages out of them. It's a scavenger hunt is looking for specific things it's a challenge it's it's fun so I wanted to make a list that was pretty easy I didn't want it too challenging because I want it to be fun for everyone I don't want it to be very stressful so the list is 31 long because there's 31 days in January there are some wild card items in case you have difficulty finding something on the list, you can substitute it for something else. Rule number one for the scavenger hunt. My scavenger hunts, rule number one, there are no rules. You can do this any way you want to do it. No rules. There's no way to cheat. Just have fun. All right. This is my scavenger hunt book from last year. I have not finished yet. Um, I'm hoping to finish before the beginning of the year and then I can do a flip through of, of my book. So there's no right way to do this. Last year I made myself a little booklet and that's in the playlist as well. It was eight pieces of paper, just some junk pieces of paper that I had. I folded them in half. I made a little signature that eight pieces of paper made a booklet with 32 pages since there's 31 days in January it gives me one page for every day of the month and then one extra I think I might do an intro or something for this first page not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet you don't have to make a specific book for your scavenger hunt you can use anything that you are currently using use anything that you have no rules do what you want to do do what's best um, what I did was I gathered my things from the list first and then I created my pages um, I gathered things in a little box and then went through and collected things for each day. You don't have to collect everything before you start. You can find something and find the page. It goes on and just stick it down. I did number each of my pages so I knew which page was which day. Um, it was helpful for finding stuff, finding the right page to do the right ones on. Um, most of this information is in the playlist from last year so I'm not going to go over it too much. I know you guys are hoping you want to get to the list. Let's get to the list you guys. Let's get to the list. Um, I think that's it for the rules. There are no rules. You can do it any way you want to. You can do it um, as fast or as slowly as you want to since I'm giving you the whole list you might have it done by by the first of <laughs> January um, I think there's some challenging things on there I'm hoping it'll be fun for everyone alright so let's go to the list you'll find that in the description box below if you want to print it out copy and paste it onto anything uh, that you have printed out and then you have your own printed out version. I Last year I wrote down my list on pieces of paper. Um, whichever way works for you. Alright, 
So let me just read off some of these things and maybe a, a brief, small, short explanation what I was thinking. But honestly, interpret the, the list any way that you want to. Uh, you can do it as strictly or as loosely as you want to. If you're having a hard time struggling with finding something, you, you use a wild card. Substitute it for something else. You know, do do you. Um, just don't make it too frustrating, too stressful. It's supposed to be fun. And that's why there's no rules. All right, so day number one. We have something Egyptian. That's anything. It can be anything. It could be the pyramids. It could be uh, the head of Nefertiri. It could be, you know, a mummy or, you know, whatever. So something Egyptian, a sunset, pineapple, tape, an owl. A tape. It could be a picture of tape or it could be a piece of masking tape or washi tape. It could be anything. Think outside the box sometimes. Um, don't think so close-minded. How can you attempt to do tape? All right, number two, someone famous, a cloud, rose, ice cream, music note. You can find some music and just put that down there, more than one note. Or you can write doodle, a music note, any way that works. Number three, something that smells good. It could be anything. It could be food. It could be perfume. A fork, barn, skull, monkey. Number four, something handwritten. And it can be a picture of a, a letter. Or it could be an actual letter from someone that you know. It could be the grocery list. It could be anything. All right? Something handwritten, a keyhole, a superhero, train, and coffee. Coffee can be anything either. It could be a picture of a coffee cup with coffee in it. It could be a picture of a coffee bean. It could be a coffee stain. You set your coffee down and, and it spilled on some paper. It could be anything. Number five, day number five is something gold. It doesn't have to be really gold. It could just be the color gold. It can be a picture of something gold, a gold brick, you know, whatever. A gargoyle, football, pumpkin, shark. Number six, someone wearing a hat. Teapot, taxi, perfume, planet. Number seven, something with wheels. Gnome, shadow, eagle, cactus. Number eight, something that starts with the letter S. Anything that starts with the letter S. A picture of anything. Um, anything. A vase, a pig, boot, and yarn. It could be a picture of yarn. It could be a piece of yarn. Number nine, something lucky, pine cone, camel, waterfall, strawberry. Ten, something from a circus, a cupcake, doll, flag, mask. Eleven, something smooth. See, some of these are, it gets you thinking, but it also they're kind of easy. You can, something smooth would be a rock or a, something that's metal that's smooth. You know, it's, it could be a person who's a smooth talker. I don't know. Um, I was hoping that some of these would be fairly easy if you think about something um, it would be easy to figure out something that would work for that that something all right so something smooth clown candy doorknob swan 12 is something with wings it could be an insect a bird a plane just anything with wings 
Hamburger King Bubble Snake. 13, something that makes noise. Ring, elf, a tower, a jar. 14 is someone wearing glasses, a street sign, piano, bear, and nest. 15 is something black, dinosaur, lighthouse, tomato, thumb. 16 is something that is circular, an angel, a whale, a birdhouse, an ear. 17 is someone laughing, a mailbox, a pyramid, a teddy, like a teddy bear. Um, it could be a teddy, like a teddy person, Teddy Roosevelt, something, teddy. Salt shaker. 18, someone in profile. It could be a silhouette. It could be a picture of someone looking sideways, any, anything. Chocolate, monster, church, monkey. 19, something sweet. Happy face, basket, bunny, alien. 20 is something that lights up. Banana, rock, truck, and squirrel. 21, anything neon. It could be, if you find a neon crayon, just kind of uh, draw a little something in neon. Be a neon sign. Any eight-letter word. Any eight-letter word. It's an eight-letter word. I mean, you can find a whole eight-letter word, or you can use letters and create an eight-letter word. Single letters, using single letters. All right. Something neon, any eight-letter word, snow, potted plant, crab. 22, something broken, plain, earring, an emoji, a finger. 23, something made with metal, fairy, like Tinkerbell, hot dog, lemon, gorilla. 24, something that turns on and off, sock, pear, tattoo, cow. 25, something tall, anything tall, and that's you know, tall is, is relevant, you know, you know, Eiffel Tower could be tall, a tall person, you know, basketball player could be tall, anything tall. A coin, footprint, a puppy, palm tree. 26 is someone dancing, a ladybug, stairs, mouth, dragon. 27, something squishy. It could be anything. It could be anything, something squishy. A, a wet sponge would be squishy. Rainbow, ocean wave, a paw print, a faucet. 28, something made from wood, pizza, ostrich, mug, glove. 29, something that floats, an egg, fence, a unicorn, a pillow. 30 is some place you'd like to visit, and you can put just the name of the place, or you can find a picture of the place, or um, a famous landmark that you'd like to visit, or a state, or a country, some place you'd like to visit. A paintbrush, pie, purse, and chicken. 31 is something old-fashioned. It could be a person. It could be a wood-burning stove. It could be anything, something old-fashioned. It could be a rotary phone. <laughs> a zebra, nose, pirate, and signature. All right. So I'm hoping that those aren't too difficult, but if you do have something, and everybody's going to have a few that are going to be really hard to find, um, the wild card items, you can substitute these for anything. Something with four legs, 
a bird, a flower, a wing, any number. So I wanted the wild card items to be really easy. If you're really having a hard time finding something, I wanted you to be able to substitute something pretty easy for that. All right. So um, that is the sign. You can find the full, full or that's the list, sorry. Um, you can find the full list in the description box below. Like I said, there are no rules. Do this any way that feels right to you, any way that it works for you. Um, you can use anything that you want to use, a book that you're working in, a junk journal that you just made, a blank book that you've just gotten, um, or you can, you know, add it to something that you've already started, make a single book for it, any way you want to do it. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be fun. I'm hoping um, it won't be too challenging. Uh, I am thinking about next year. It took a long time to come up with this list. It's not quite as easy as you would think to come up with a list that you that would be easy for everyone to find. Last year, I did come across people that were having difficulties with certain things. I remember someone having difficulty with a uh, gum wrapper. They didn't choose chew gum. I don't chew gum either, um, but I have a friend that does, so I managed to get a gum wrapper that way. So, you know, think about trading something back and forth uh, with friends or um, people that you know online. Hey, I'm looking for, you know, whatever it is. Does anyone have an extra one of these? Um, it's just meant to be something fun. There is no time limit. Um, do it whenever you want to do it. However, you know, if you want to do it really fast or you want to savor it, I've got a storm going on here. You hear it thundering and lightning out there? So I did have trouble with the list, and so I'm thinking about the list for next year. It was very popular this last year, so I'm assuming that you guys enjoy this. Um, if you want to give me a comment and give me suggestions for next year, I will write them down and um, maybe it won't be so difficult to come up with a list next year. I may even recycle some of the old items uh, and just put them in different orders. Uh, you know, let me know what you think, what your feelings are. Let me know if you think the list is too difficult. I did some different things this year. Uh, I did some, you know, something Egyptian. That's a great big, huge thing, you know, to be able to find something Egyptian should be fairly easy instead of something really, really specific. So I'm hoping that those will be a little bit more easy. I didn't do this year uh, backgrounds. I was thinking last year that I would do backgrounds and I would make collage for every page. I'm finding that a little difficult. Um, some of the items that I found the umbrella. This is a good example. Uh, I only found one umbrella and it was almost too big for the page. I didn't have room for the umbrella. I only found one berry as well. So I didn't have room for the umbrella, the berry, and the whole tea bag. So I just put part of the tea bag there and, and put the other things on top. So making my booklet as small as I did, it was a little bit of a challenge for me to find things that would fit. Uh, mermaid. I had a ton of difficulty with the mermaid. I All the mermaids that I had were really, really big. Uh, the small ones that I had, you couldn't tell that they were mermaids. So I finally did find a group of mermaids here. I don't remember what that was from, but that one was really, really hard for me. I did not 
find the items and then make the list. I made a master list of things and then sorted them out into days and then went to my boxes of collage fodder to find the items. So snowman, I, I live in Florida. I cannot find a snowman anywhere. I could not find a snowman. It took me forever. I finally did find it took me forever to find it. So I struggled with quite a few of the things as well. So, um, but it was fun. It was fun and I'm glad those people um, who commented had fun. There's my snowman talking about snowman, a little tiny snowman. It's the only one I could find. I don't even remember where I found it. I think it was in, in the junk mail or something. Anyway, um, let me know what you think about the list, if you think it's too hard, um, if you have ideas for next year. Give me your thoughts. Give me your ideas. Um, I'm hoping to get this one done and give you a flip through. I'm hoping to borrow some other scavenger hunt books from other people and do some show and tells of some other ones. Um, I'm hoping to get that will get done in January sometime. And I may be doing this for, you know, a few months. It's really easy to do. It doesn't take that much time and it's pretty relaxing. So it is a nice thing to do. And if I only have five minutes to do something, it's, it's kind of a, a nice, relaxing something just to have some glue therapy to do. All right, so glue book January 2023 has officially begun. I know it's early, but it started. I hope you guys have fun. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye, everybody.